But the more you train your eyes, the more things pop out to you and you start seeing less of the noise and you start seeing like Neo in the Matrix where instead of seeing like the actual pictures, you start seeing the numbers and you get to the point where he's fighting Agent Smith, like looking the other way with, with one hand and doing all that cool stuff. And you look at the chart in front of you, this is a good example. And obviously my eyes are very good because I've been doing this for entirely too long. But we see a lot of junk on the chart. A lot of you guys said looks like consolidation, head and shoulders. I see about, and I haven't measured these out yet. I'm just doing it by eye. But I see about one, two, three advanced pattern formations. Four. Check this out. And some of it's going to depend on how you draw them. But the first one I see is a butterfly, right? And let's say you're drawing a traditional butterfly like uh, with the 127 here. I used the 127 from the A to the X backwards. So it would be, looks like it would be probably a little bit short for how I draw them. Um, but, you know, different traders do it in different ways. But let's say you're using this 127 from A to B, right? Well, first and foremost, we've got our X to A, our A to B right here our B to C, our C to D, right down here. That's one. Something else we got is going to be a cipher pattern, it looks like. Again, I haven't measured these out. So I could be wrong. Don't make fun of me if I'm wrong, Fanny. It's just, just the eye test, yep. One is gonna be a cipher pattern, right? Right after that butterfly, it turns right into an X to A. A to B, we'll go ahead and make this a different color so it stands out to you, rouge. Da, da, da. X to A, A to B, our B to C down here, then our CD completion right at that 786. We're gonna have a second butterfly up here as well, I think. Ooh, yep, just hit it, there we go. That was the one I was iffy about. I was pretty confident in seeing the other ones. X to A, A to B, once again, let's change the color so it stands out. Uh, purple? Sure. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, right at that 127. And then we end with one last pattern formation. It's gonna be a, another cipher pattern right in here. And we're gonna go X to A, A to B. Now that I know we hit the 127, I'm confident in this one as well. These were the iffy ones at the end where the eye saw it, but wasn't quite sure if we're correct on the fibs. B to C, and then CD completion was right here at our 786. So I, it's, it's pretty cool when you look at stuff like this because the market goes from complete randomness and junk and consolidation. We say this a lot specifically with harmonic patterns. Um, and there are the head and shoulders that you mentioned in there um, as, as well. We'll, we'll kind of keep it to harmonics today, just not to put any more art on the chart. But it's really cool when, when, when you can go from the point where you see the market as a bunch of junk, sideways movement, this is not doing anything, no trading opportunities, markets are bad, let me rush and find something else that I can trade and make all these psychological errors, to knowing the type of situations where your trading edge plays out being able to focus on those trading situations and say, hey, although the internet is saying there's nothing here I shouldn't be looking, I know that this is the place where these things often occur. And then having the ability to recognize them and then obviously the execution and the rest of the part is a whole different story. But this is the first half of the puzzle. And again, I, 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 I see this because I get this a lot in the markets, whether it's on a, a kind of a micro basis of like, I didn't have any trading opportunities today where traders are complaining or they're looking at a specific asset and they're like, oh, Qualcomm didn't offer me anything this year. And I come right back at them. I'm like, well, there are tons of opportunities here if you trade a certain type of way. And I'm not saying you have to trade this way at all, right? You trade the way that you want to trade. But the fact of the matter is there are always opportunities in the market. As a trader, what you need to do is you need to identify what your specific opportunities are. You need to learn how to identify those specific opportunities. And then you need to train your eyes to be able to read through the rest of the junk and actually see them when they form in the market. So pretty cool stuff right here. Let me let me send this into our